Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Got two chapters down in the new Michael Barrett book. It's really good. It's it's fun to discover, you know, that even your famous designers had to struggle with the same shit that you're going through or beginners go through. That's really relatable. Anyway, I'm going to grab coffee with my wife before I'm starting the day. so painful to work on Prospero now that I know all of the problems, the UX problems and the design problems. And again, as I've told you yesterday, I'm not trying to improve them or fix all the problems right now. Rather, I'm trying to add value and make the tool better. So it's really simple to try to ignore everything that I know is bad and focus on creating better stuff. But let me show you what I've currently did. So in, in what we have right now in the beta version, this is the screen where you edit the proposal. Uh, you kind of have the proposal here. When you hover over it, you get this, this uh, editing tool. So many people didn't know that you can edit the proposals because they didn't hover. So I'm gonna just put the editing tools all the time so you can understand that you can edit it. Then we put some kind of a kind of a checklist here and tips about how to better edit your proposal, but turns out nobody read them, nobody did them, everybody thought they were already checked, so this doesn't work. And lastly, this publish uh, proposal and pop-up uh, was too confusing because you could uh, download the PDF from here, get the link and get feedback. So this was too confusing. So let me show you what I've currently did. So as I've told you, um, I've put the editing bar here all the time. I got rid of all the tools and I've created a new feature which is sending the proposal online right from the tool. We didn't have this currently in the beta. A button to download the proposal as PDF and a button to start over. Um, and if you send the proposal online, you're gonna get, uh, you can preview it or you can sit, put in your client's email and write a message and send it to them. And we've also added uh, the ability to digitally sign the proposal. So we didn't have that before and I've added that uh, based on the feedback that you guys were talking about. And lastly, here on the dashboard, I've added this uh, kind of a proposal status where you can see if uh, it was sent or it's just a draft or if the client uh, signed it. So as you can see, I wasn't uh, focusing on fixing all the issues, but rather on adding new stuff that I think will make this first version much better. So now after I've designed it in Sketch, I'm going to take it into Webflow so that Ayala is going to have all the code ready for him. Alright, done with Webflow, heading out for a lunch meeting and then another meeting. It's supposed to be super hot outside as well today. Hope I don't get there sweaty. had a couple of good meetings. The first one was with a friend of mine who is now going freelance and wanted to ask me about how I manage my, you know, clients between personal projects and finding new clients and 
also asking you know about uh, some tips about how to find new clients because he said I don't feel like that I can write blog like you or put YouTube videos or what, so what should I do and I kind of told him that a blog or you know putting content out is more of a long-term strategy and what he should focus on now is kind of his network and making new friends and you know keeping top of mind with the people who know him and like him already kind of gave him if you uh, if you haven't checked the new schools marketing class so I kind of gave him a summary of that and if you haven't checked it out I'll link it to the description below so we were talking about that and the second meeting was with a company a very interesting company that wants to work with me but again you know I'm fully booked right now with my client and the new school and I'm struggling whether I should take it on top of it and work nights again same old struggle between you know kind of being greedy because I want money and want to work on you know interesting project with interesting people versus you know taking a little taking it a little bit easier and you know spending more time with my family so same old struggle I'm gonna go out and check my calendar right now to see what we can work out but I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna tell them yet anyway I'm going back to working on Prospero now and I've just saw you know I got an email about somebody else is launching their new product and I saw how polished and good looking the product was and I suddenly felt so ashamed of you know I feel like Prosper right now is so raw and unpolished and doesn't look good and the experience is not perfect and usually I'm fine with that because you know that quote uh, of LinkedIn's founder if you're not ashamed uh, if you're not ashamed with of your first version then you launch too late something like that anyway I usually believe that and I don't care but right now seeing other people launch their version one that looks much better than you know our product kind of makes you feel bummed up inside but I'm gonna you know fight fight to get the motivation back and gonna hustle some more on Prospero. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Have a super day.